Dominica ravaged by Hurricane Maria and Caribbean countries are already mobilizing to help. I'm Ricardo Roberts and this is a special edition of the Caribbean in 10 for Tuesday, September 19th. I'll be back with the details in just a moment. Always that aside would have lost the cricket series 2-1 and the final test by nine wickets of that and yet was being praised. But that was the case of the West Indies which ended the test series against England at Lord's in defeat but surely not in ignominy. And the reason might have been that before the series started, the team was dubbed No Hopers and described their pundits as the worst team from the Caribbean. Well, when you get drafted into this great league, um, you know, you, some of us come in at different ages. And as a 19-year-old kid, if you think about it, I'm starting my first year of college or finishing my first year of, co uh, first year of college my freshman year. And uh, life hits. Man, you, you go to different hotels, you're in different places, in different cities, and you have to adjust to what's going on. And um, it took me a little while to do that. On the court was incredible, but and then you start figuring out what is important to you off the Hurricane Maria has delivered a devastating blow to Dominica the full extent of which is still not known as communication systems across the island are down. But Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt has reported widespread devastation that he says Dominica will need help of all kinds to recover from as the island has lost all that money can buy and replace. The Category 5 hurricane passed right over the island last night, bringing 160 mile per hour sustained winds that ripped roofs off buildings, including the official residence of Prime Minister Skerritt. He shared his experience as the hurricane made landfall through a series of posts on Facebook. Skerritt described hearing the fury of merciless winds and hearing the sound of galvanized flying before reporting that his roof had blown off, his house was flooded, and he was left at the mercy of Hurricane Maria. Shortly after, however, he reported that he was rescued. His last communication came after 1 a.m. when he said there were initial reports of widespread devastation. But his biggest fear was the possible injuries and deaths as a result of likely landslides triggered by Maria's persistent rains. Skerritt wrote, quote, I am honestly not preoccupied with physical damage at this time because it is devastating. Indeed, mind-boggling. My focus now is in rescuing the trapped and securing medical assistance for the injured. We will need help, my friend. We need help of all kinds." End quote. The Prime Minister said that once the all clear is given today, the search for the injured and those trapped in the rubble would begin. Now, since his message just after 1 a.m., there has been no more communication from the Prime Minister. The Trinidad and Tobago government is already mobilizing to send assistance to Dominica. Now, according to a statement from the office of Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley, as soon as it is safe, a helicopter will be sent to Dominica with Defense Force personnel. It said the Coast Guard is also preparing to send a supply vessel and to take Defense Force personnel as well as supplies. The Barbados Defense Force will also be taking a ship with supplies to Dominica, departing within another 24 hours. And it's appealing for donations of water, sanitary napkins, baby diapers, canned food, and bottled water. And while Barbuda is only in the early stages of recovering from an equally devastating Hurricane Irma that decimated Antigua's sister isle two weeks ago, the government extending a hand, is extending a hand of assistance to Dominica. Prime Minister Gaston Brown thanked God for sharing his country, or for sparing his country rather, from the wrath of another Category 5 hurricane. And in a telephone interview with CMC News this morning, he says, despite the fact that Barbuda has a long recovery process ahead, he stands ready to provide support to Dominica. I'm really sorry to learn about the devastation in Dominica. And let me make it abundantly clear that we are standing in solidarity with Prime Minister Skerritt and the people of Dominica, notwithstanding our own problem here in Antigua. As you know, 
Barbados was actually decimated just over a week ago. I spoke with uh, Tim Skerritt earlier this morning, just after he lost his roof. And I have assured him of the full support of Antigua. And I say Antigua here because, you know, Barbados is out of circulation. Brown said arrangements are being made to get to Dominica by helicopter as early as possible. He has also indicated that Antigua will serve as a hub to get food and resource personnel to Dominica in the immediate. Now we'll be arranging a chopper as soon as practicable this morning to fly into Dominica to assist. And that will be, you know, funded by the government of Antigua. And certainly anything that we can do to assist, uh, we have recently released supplies here that we're willing to share with them. We will certainly assist. Now, even though several of the islands have been devastated in the past two weeks, we must remain strong, must remain hopeful, and certainly faithful. As far as I'm concerned, we are a resilient people who will rise from the ashes to rebuild better and certainly more prosperous and climate resilient countries. Brown was scheduled to leave Antigua on Monday to attend the meeting of the United Nations and he says he still plans to go and address the meeting on Thursday with his address focusing on the issue of climate change. That all is not lost. I am hoping to travel tomorrow because as you recognize, I'm Antigua is the worst of the storm. And on that basis, I'll still have the opportunity to address the General Assembly on Thursday. And you can be assured that the issue of um, climate change will be one of the major issues that I will address. Stay with us. There's more news after the break. This ornate wrought iron fence proved almost fatal to an 11-year-old mixed-breed terrier. He tried to leap over it and didn't make it, becoming impaled in the process. Local firefighters and hospital workers arrived quickly on the scene and freed the animal, cutting a three by two foot section of the fence with the dog attached. Now they need to get the injured pooch to the veterinary hospital quickly. Dateline, Louisville, Texas. Located just close enough to the massive metro areas of Dallas and Fort Worth. Louisville is a calmer side of life with deep roots in Texas. One of the things that tell people to come check out is our uh, Old Town area, which is uh, kind of where the city grew up around the train station. Uh, we've done a lot to uh, revitalize that. Our big city hall is there, and it's a pretty impressive building. Welcome back. We continue our coverage on the aftermath of powerful Hurricane Maria that left a trail of destruction in Dominica late yesterday. The Category 5 hurricane ravaged the island that is still reeling from the devastation of Tropical Storm Erica back in August 2015. Now, several residents took to social media last night sharing their harrowing experience as the hurricane barreled its way through the island, knocking out power and communication. Senior counsel of the Eastern Caribbean Court and former president of the Bar Association in Dominica, Anthony Astefan was one of those residents recounting the experience before the lines of communication went down. Hi, you may not be able to see me, uh, you can see me now. Well, brother, sister, comrade, and friend, the wind was savage, we lost the roof. Um, I have my total upstairs, the, the ceiling and everything collapsed on it. The roof, the roof is gone. I have two inches of water downstairs. My upstairs is completely leaking. All of my electrical features have water coming through them. Um, it's been a horrible night. The, the strong winds have just stopped. I don't know what's next in store for us. But my God, I can only feel the pain of those that don't have a house like I have. It was terrible, and I just hope people didn't die. But we are okay. My mother's fine, my brother's fine, my cousin and his daughter are fine, and my lovely wife and my beautiful son are safe in Florida. Just don't have a home to come to now. Meantime, the nearby French island of Martinique escaped Hurricane Maria largely unscathed. 
France's head of civil protection and crisis response, Jacques Wyskowski, said resonance or reconnaissance operations are still underway, but already they can see there is no significant damage. But he said a communications blackout with Guadeloupe means it will be several more hours before damage there could be assessed. Maria lashed Guadeloupe's southern shores as it tracked northward toward the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. Video footage released by the Guadeloupe prefecture showed three, three bending winds whipping through deserted or deserted streets and shaking up lampposts when the storm first hit. Guadeloupe perfect Eric Marie uh, or said there were some early floods, reporting of floods and flooded houses and submerged roads. Now, airport group Guadeloupe Pool Car Caribs said Guadeloupe's main international airport will be closed until at least 2 p.m. local time today. Well, after causing devastation in Guadeloupe, and that's Caribbean intent. Good afternoon.